You can find caustics in many places throughout reality. Caustic reflections in water are probably one of the most well-known examples. Here's a quick look at how you can create that caustic water look in Cinema 4D and Redshift. In this scene, I have an infinite light emitting caustic photons through a water surface onto the geometry below. The light is emitting 5 million photons and the intensity multiplier is set to 1. I also have an HDR lighting my scene and background, but there are no caustic photons emitting from it. I found the caustic effect was more art directable if I used an infinite light. In the redshift render settings, under the caustic tab, I adjusted my blur radius to 0.5. To create the water surface, I used the X particles generator, XP Ocean. If you don't have X particles, you could use a plugin called Hot4D, or you can apply a displacement deformer to a plane and use an animated noise texture to get a very similar result. The water surface has a redshift object tag added to it. Under the visibility tab, I've turned on the overrides and turned on cast caustic photons under the global illumination tab. I think it's important to remember that these are the settings I use given the way I set up my scene. You'll probably have to adjust these to dial in your caustics correctly. If you're having any trouble with these caustic settings, please refer to my caustic quick start video for more details. Thanks for watching this short example of Redshift Caustics in action. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll see you in the next tutorial.